Hello everyone. Today we will discuss our next topic. Okay everyone. First of all, tell me, have you heard statements like around 900 people enjoyed the music or around 30,000 people watched the Prime Minister's speech on YouTube? So in these examples, exact number of people uh, not given and the, uh, it is only the general ID. Around 900 could be um, 886 or 908 or around 30,000 could be 29,034 or 30,136. So we don't know the exact number of people. So the exact number could be little, less or more than the number which we have stated. So, this process of getting a general idea of the number is called estimations. So, today we will discuss about estimation. Okay. So, estimation of numbers is done to the nearest tens, thousands, hundreds and so on. And estimation of numbers is also known as rounding of numbers. So, first of all, we discuss estimation of the numbers to the nearest tens. For this we have to follow some steps. First step, let us take an example. 160 7. We have to uh, estimate this number to the nearest tens. For this, first of all, you have to check one's digit. Here, one's digit is 7. If this digit is greater than 5 or equal to 5, then we give one carry to 6. Otherwise, we will count. For example, here is 74. Here is 4. 4 is less than 5. So we can't give 1 carry to 7. So this number becomes 170. And this number becomes 70. So these digits are replaced by 0. Rest of the digits remain same. Let us take another example. 3,491 We have to estimate this number to nearest tens. So first of all we check one's digit. One is less than five. So this digit is replaced by zero and we can't give carry to two and the rest of the digits remain same. So 3, 4, 2, 0. 3420 is the answer. Next is estimation of the numbers to the nearest hundreds. Estimation of the numbers to the nearest hundreds. Let us take an example. 374. We have to round off this number to the nearest hundreds. For this, first of all, we check the tens digit. If the tens digit is greater than or equal to 5, then we add 1 to 3. Otherwise, we can't. So, this is, uh, here is 7. 7 is greater than 5. So, we add 1 to 3. And rest of the digits uh, replace by 0. So, answer is 400. Let us take another example. 46,785. We have to round off this number to nearest hundreds. So, First of all, at the 100 place, uh, 
digit 7 is there so first of all we check tens digit so 8 is here 8 is greater than 5 so we add 1 to 7 and the rest of the digits remain same and these digits replaced by 0 so answer is 46800 this is the answer now estimation of the numbers to the nearest thousands let us take an example 1370 Four. In this, uh, also, first of all, we check the digit at the hundred place. So, at the hundred place, there is three. So, now again, we check that this number is greater than or equal to five. If this number is greater than equal, uh, greater than or equal to five, then we give one carry to one or add one to one. But now 3 is less than 5. So we can't add 1. And answer is 1000. Let us take another example. 46785. We have to estimate this number to nearest 1000. Now first of all check the digit at the 100 place. Here is 7. 7 is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 6. So answer becomes 47,000. So remember one thing that these digits remain same and rest of the digits replaced by 0. Now we will discuss representation of whole numbers on a number line. representation of whole numbers on a number line. For this, first of all, we draw a line using scale. As you see this is a line now mark a point O on it and label the point O as 0 now mark, mark the points 1 2 3 4 at equal distance on the right side of 0 like 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. In this way we draw a number line. Mm -hmm. Now we will discuss rounding of the numbers using number line. That how we uh, use number line for the rounding of the numbers. Let us take an example. Estimate 43 to the to its nearest tens. So first of all we draw number line. As you see here. So 43 lies here. This is 40, 41, 42, 43. So now we will check that 43, whether 43 is nearer to 40 or 50. That 43 is nearer to the 40 and or 50. So clearly 43 is nearer to 40. So the answer is 40. 
In this way, we can estimate the number to its nearest tens, hundreds or thousand.